Yeah. Hey, we're I live. think we are live. Yay. All right, everybody ready? Yes. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're here at the Comics Camp headquarters with a whole bunch of guest artists. This on this side of me is Curious Pickle right here, leaning out of the picture. This is the artist known as Sky. And this is the artist known as Linda. Linda, right here. Um, and we figured we'd do a little exercise, a little activity with you. It's a standalone activity. We're going to create an entire book, and we're going to create some new monsters. And not just monsters, but a life cycle of a monster. So to do this activity, you're going to need a pencil. Everybody have a pencil? Good. And we have also prepared these eight-page booklets. There's a video on my site that shows you how to turn a single piece of paper into an eight-page book. All right, you, I'm gonna walk you through an activity here and these artists to either side of me are going to do it themselves. And then we'll take a look at what they have after, uh, after a couple minutes of drawing. So let me just call up my desktop here. This is, if you don't have an eight-page book ready to go, I will show you what you can do. So if you're drawing, if you're joining us at home with a piece of paper, I'm gonna invite you to draw a line dividing it in half, top and bottom. Then we'll divide it in half side by side. And then we'll divide each of those halves in half side by side. And that gives you eight pages. This is if you don't have the mini book prepared. You can do the same exercise on a single piece of paper. And then we'll just number these boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to create your story on a big piece of paper. We're doing the same thing here with these books because when you unfold these books, they are actually just a piece of paper. Right? We made them out of a single piece. But the trick here with the books is they start here, one, two, three, and then it goes upside down, four, five, six, seven, and flips around again to eight. Now, if that looks totally confusing, it's because it's meant to be read with a special fold. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is a mini comics format I like to use to create stories. So. Um, so here's what we're going to draw. Whether you're drawing on this page, you can just follow along with the numbers. Or if you're drawing into your book, you can draw on a page or you can open it up and draw into the numbered boxes. Everybody on page one? All right. So for this activity, page one, we're going to draw an egg, a medium sized to large egg. It won't fill the page. And it can be any shape and any kind of egg you can imagine. I'm just going to draw a simple little egg. I'm drawing a nest because oh, yeah. I, I had already started drawing. You can it. I like that. So we'll, you can draw a nest around it too. Okay. Yeah, we'll show these Should after once once we're done. So you could. That's a great idea, Lyndon. You can draw a nest of any kind around it. You can draw some setting details, but we'll just sketch an egg in here. Now we're working in pencil. Remember, one of our techniques that we're doing all summer long is we are penciling, inking, and erasing our artwork. Today in this activity, we're going to pencil this book, this uh, entire book, then we'll read through it, and then afterwards we'll ink it, and we'll post our finished inked, inked and erased artwork. Um, it'll be much easier to read once it's inked. Remember, if you're joining along and you just have a piece of paper, we're dividing it into four, um, two by four boxes, so eight boxes total. I'm holding this upside down. And we're numbering them one through eight, and then we're drawing into those. If you're drawing with the template book that we posted on the website, you can start on page one, and then we're opening it up to reveal page two and three, okay? So that reveal, we have an egg on the cover, and you can draw with me here on page two. This is our next page. We're gonna show that egg cracking and maybe just some eyes visible coming out. Just one little piece of a monster starting to come out of the egg. So for instance, the way I do that is I might draw the egg and I'll lift up the top. I'll draw the curved top up here and then I'll put sort of a jagged bump on there. And I'll put a jagged edge here. All right, so there's my opened egg and then I'll do however many eyes your monster is going to have because this is a monster egg. So I'm going to do two. And as you know, I like to leave a little white spot in the black pupil of the eye. 
so it gleams. And then if your monster is a furry monster, maybe a little fur comes out. I like to draw furry monsters. And I can tuck that fur into the corners there, and that helps make it look like a little monster's coming out of this egg. Maybe your monster's scaly or feathery or fluffy or something. Oh, and if I drew that nest in the front, I might want to put that nest under that egg because the egg has been sitting there in that nest all this time. All right, and now we get this neat effect. If I hand the reader this book to read when it's done, they see an egg and then they'll open it up and it's like the egg opened up when they turn that page. So now on this next page, on page three, we'll go over here. And into page three, I'm going to draw this monster out of the egg as a baby, right? So we went from egg to hatching egg to baby. And we're drawing fairly fast. We're just kind of cartooning. If you want to spend a little more time on the hatching egg, you certainly can. We're going to work ahead here. I'm going to leave the egg out of it entirely. So I'll do, I would recommend keeping your monster kind of on the smallish side, but big enough to see. So I'll do those eyes the same size. And now I get to kind of fluff out that fur. Maybe I'll give my monster round teeth. I like these cute little monsters. And if it's a baby, maybe you can't even see the arms and legs. Maybe it's just a fluff ball. Or maybe it has short little legs. And I like leaving a lot of space around it. Maybe I just got the idea that I'll draw some eggshell bits around it little triangles and broken pieces. Happy to be out of that egg on this hot day. Now, while you're finishing up your page three, and don't, don't worry if it feels like I'm rushing you, you can take as long as you want on these pages. I'm gonna show you the whole book. I'll draw it kind of fast. If you wanna keep up, keep up, but it also, if you wanna go back and work more, you're welcome to do that. So my book starts with an egg. The egg opens and then the monster comes out. We get little bits of eggshell trailed around. Now we're about to turn the page and go to four and you can probably guess what's gonna happen. Well, you may have ideas of what's gonna happen. Maybe you wanna tell a story of this little baby monster doing something. Maybe, maybe it's hungry, maybe it leaves the nest and goes somewhere. Here's my idea for today. I kind of wanna show the whole life of this monster. So I'm gonna turn the page and reveal what this baby looks like as a kid monster. Whoop, watch that camera stand, please. Yes. <laughs> we shake the camera stand every now and then. Um, so I'm gonna show what this monster looks like as a kid monster. So I'm gonna draw it, let me look at it again. Hmm, so there it is, it has legs but no arms. Maybe it grows arms and little horns or something. Let's see. And I'll make the legs a little longer, how about that? And maybe the mouth gets, oh, you know what? Let's open the mouth. What if we do like, Instead of a single line for the mouth, we kind of make a big C shape and I'll put teeth on the top and the bottom. That would be kind of cool. Your monster is going to look really different from mine. You're welcome to copy my monster. It's a good way to learn how to draw, but you may also, I've seen some amazing comics camper art that's really gone in different directions from these live draws. Let's see. So I was going to make my legs a little bit longer, but not super long, pretty simple. Maybe I'll just make little arms here with little claws. This is the kid monster. I don't think he has horns yet. Maybe just some like slightly longer eyebrows or something like that. No tail, no, no tongue. I think I, I think I will black in the mouth though. This is fun to draw next to each other like this. And uh, I wonder if we should, does anybody want to share their, um, one of their baby monsters or their kid monsters? We want to try. Lyndon, did you want to share yours? I could read it under the camera here. So it's really cool when you have, when you have something you're working on, hand it to somebody if you ever want to get feedback and ask them to read it back to you. So I'll read it back to Lyndon here and let's see if I get it the way you wanted me to see it. I see sort of a pixelated uh, kind of Minecrafty egg on yeah. a nest, right? And it has spots and cracks. It's hatching already on the front I cover. also ended up changing. I thought I was going to do like a block monster. Yeah. Then I decided I wanted to do something different. Yeah. It changes to... as you draw, right? Yeah. All right. So when I open it, oh, the egg has some claws coming out. Oh, and there's two monsters inside. Look, two pairs of eyes. And then the baby comes out. Oh, and it's a two-headed monster. 
and it's crawling along on the ground. I wonder where I got oh, that. Nice. Did you have a model for that? I kind of, so I got a couple Lego figures the other day in the mail. Uh -huh. And Yep, it's a two-headed, oh, so you're using a two-headed Lego figure as your inspiration. Yeah. I'm going to share this with my friend Evan, who draws comics, and he uses Lego figures as inspiration, too. He'll love to see that. So <laughs> then I turn the page, and your monster disappears. Oh, you were just about to draw the kid monster. Yes. Or the slightly older monster. Since it was taking me a little longer to draw. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. See how different that one is from mine? I mean, it, it's so wonderful how we can draw together and just create these totally different monsters. Now, if you draw the monster with the mouth open and it feels like it's shouting something, feel free to write those words in there. I'll make it saying, can you read that? Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's a friendly monster as opposed to like, Rah, which is also friendly for monsters. All right. So my kid monster is growing up. Now, I notice also with those eyebrows, I kind of want the baby to look like the kid somewhat. So I'm going to add those. You can go back and add these things in, can't you? you? Yeah. One more sample to see what star is working on over here. Oh, I'm sorry, sky. A spotted egg. Oh, a foot comes out. <laughs> Look at that. This isn't the face at all. The foot kicks out. And then, boom, it's wings. It's like a moth bird monster. And the, and the nest is just a shambles now. <laughs> oh, and it's growing horns. Oh, this is so cool. So now we're going to go on to page five and your kid monster will become sort of a teenager monster. It's gonna be a little taller, maybe a little gawky or bigger. I, I think I will. Oh, we've got a pencil sharpener going here. It's cool when you get all these artists together, you, there's always something going on. I'm gonna to try to keep it, I'm gonna to try to keep it, careful with that camera stand, please. I'm gonna to try to keep it looking the same. So I have to keep some things the same, maybe the same mouth. Now I'm gonna add in a tongue. I'll show you how to do the tongue if you wanna try that. So I don't black in the mouth yet. I'm gonna, where this mouth is nice and tall, coming out of the back of it, I might do like a curly Q tongue like that, and then I'll black in around it. This monster's looking a little crazy now. And maybe the arms are longer. Maybe the fur is longer. Maybe the legs are longer. Oh, maybe it has like claw toes there. Maybe it's saying something here. Now, you know how these books go. We turn the page, we reveal something. We're about to reveal something huge. So I'll show you what, what's gonna happen. From egg to opening up egg to baby monster. Baby monster turned into kid monster. Hi, kid monster turned into teenager monster. Maybe now it's saying rah, or whatever you think teenager monster should be saying. Blah, blah, blah. Now, and you may still be working on page four or five. That's fine. We all work at different speeds. I'll show you the next page. When I turn the page six and seven, you have a choice here. You could draw young adult monster and then adult monster as it grows into adulthood and full size and form. Or you could do what I think I'm going to do. You notice how these pages are together? So that shows kid monster and teenager monster. I'm going to turn the page an adult monster is going to be both pages together. It's going to take up both pages because I think this monster, when it gets to be an adult, it's going to be nice and big. I'm going to put little horns on here and then I can put nice big horns on the adult. All right, here we go. If you're ready, you can turn to page six and seven and start your adult monster. I'm going to make a nice big mouth here. And maybe adult monster says something really different from kid monster or teenager monster. Or maybe it says the same thing all through its life. That tongue is about the same size, but the monster's grown bigger. <laughs> <laughs> he grew into his tongue. Well, let me put those eyes in there. Oh, I like this adult monster. Looks so different from the kid monster and the baby monster, but I'll use some of the same details. So those eyebrows will be the same. The 
fur I'll draw the same way. I draw all the fur coming out of like the middle center of the monster here, and it just radiates out in all directions and then comes down below the mouth. Arr. There's videos on my site called Let's Draw, what's it called? Let's Draw Monsters. And there's a whole series of monsters going up through the different levels. And you can check out those videos and get some monster ideas. And I'd love to see your ideas for monsters too. I'm sure you'll have some things I never thought of. I'm gonna make these arms a little thicker than a line. See, I can double that line and then black it in. I'm just drawing my arms and legs kind of black. And then I can add nice big grown-up monster claws on here. And when I show this to someone who hasn't drawn it with me, someone who wasn't in the room while we made this, I'll ask them to read it to me and see if they get the connections. Right? See if they um, get the connections between the different monsters. Whether they see it as a collection of different monsters or if they see it as the same monster going through life. The changes of life as a monster. Now those horns, they're not going to fit on the top there, so I'll have to maybe curve them to the side like that. It's really hard when you're trying to draw it. I know, yeah, you're, you're squeezed up against the camera stand. That's why we're not having earthquakes here, folks. It's just that we're crowded around the drawing table. We actually could, we'll, we'll find a different drawing table so we can actually put the other artwork right in here and see it happening. This is so cool to see. So there we went from the egg to the opening egg Page three was our baby. Page four was the kid. Maybe the baby should be saying, wah. There we go. I'll just open that mouth there. Baby monsters are born with teeth. You know that, right? Um, Most of Hi. Rah. We went from wah to rat. And then the grown-up monster. What's the grown-up monster going to say? Does anybody have any ideas? Oh. I'll have him saying, time to eat. I'll put it right into his mouth. I don't have any, any space anywhere else. There we go. You can always fit the words in like that. And now, page eight. I know you're saying, oh, no, page eight. Oh, I, I haven't been watching the, uh, the comments here. So Eric's commenting, you want to see a, oh, you've got a bird with a beak? Yeah. That's that's okay. Adults don't have to be elegant, do they? You can draw it however you can draw it however you want. Yes, I'm just going by the names of the comments, the names that come up in the comment list. Um, so I'm gonna leave page eight as artist choice. This is the surprise page. Let's see what you put on your page eight. Knowing that we started from the egg, we grew the monster up into adulthood. Maybe your monster has something to do on page eight, or maybe there's another step you can take, or maybe there's a decoration or something you can put on the back. These are wonderful ways to get a short story out. Um, and make sure, once you're done, make sure you put a title on here. Now I'm gonna write title. Don't, don't call your book title, because then we'll just have a hundred books called title, and we don't, that'll be confusing, right? But you can pencil a title in there, Pencil your name in here. Don't put name, put your name, right? Don't put my name, put your name. And if you wanna put a date or something, you can put that on the back. What's today? The 24th of June, 2020, 2020. And just as a reminder, when you're ready to pencil, I'm sorry, when you're ready to ink your book, I would recommend opening your book up if you're doing the book. And look at that, there's all your monsters all together. Some are upside down because that's that's because we fold it to make the book, right? So they will be right side up in the book. But in order to ink it, you'll wanna open up that book, come in here with an inking pen and gently trace with black ink over your penciled lines. Until you do that, it won't really be easy to read. But remember my advice for pencil ink erasing, before you ink it, that star means ask somebody to read it to you. Get some feedback because there might be a little fix you can make or somebody might have an idea or notice something that you didn't notice there. Yeah, you can always ask a friend to ink it for you. Sometimes you can ink it for a friend. Um, here's one monster book. Here's another. I'm going to get inking on mine right away. Looks like star is uh, sky is wrapping up. Sky's I'm still on book. page five. And Lyndon's on page five because take a look at this. 
Lyndon's doing a little extra detail. It's a little hard to see, but you're doing some extra detail with those monsters, right? Yes. So it's gonna take a little extra time. This is wonderful. We will ink these books. We will post them to the Comics Camp Clubhouse and to the Patreon and we'll share them with you. And if you have any that you, um, once you're done with yours, feel free to share it at me and um, use the Comics Camp 2020 hashtag and we'll definitely be able to see it then and we'll give you some feedback on your books. I think probably we'll let you guys work. We'll stop the uh, broadcast and we'll check in later. We've got a couple more live draw events coming up this week. So thank you very much for joining us. All right, see you folks later.